And this is Symphos TV, and this is the third of our uh, debates. Um, this time I don't have two, three, or four guests. I have only one guest, and my guest, I think, uh, you have enough material to speak for more than three hours, but we will summarize everything because we have only half an hour. Uh, okay, so my guest is Hub Rutten. Do I pronounce it correctly? Yeah, Rutten. Uh, Hub Rutten. Hub Rutten. Yeah. yeah okay, you're uh, from uh, the Netherlands. Yes. Um, and uh, well, you, you have a, a very rich career. So in, instead of me telling you what you have done, yeah. <laughs> you are going to tell me what you have done. Your career. What, what did you study? And what did you do? And what do you do now? Okay. So I uh, started, uh, my study, my background is in linguistics. Linguistics. Linguistics, so the study of language. Yes. Not so much the study of foreign languages, mm. but the study of language. How, how language so works. You, so, so how language, the me mechanics of language okay. as a mean of communication. Yes. And also as a mean of thinking. Okay. So when you, when you go in linguistics, yes. you have to study grammar and syntax, and then you move up to semantics. And I've already come closer to innovation, of course, is semantics, yes, yes. cognitive science. Mm -hmm. Social linguistics is, oh, yes, is the absolutely. linguistics of how people communicate and in also, registers, in dialects, and how different exactly. they are, and what is in common and what not. So if you want to understand the behavior of people, you have to go to, to start with understanding the language they yes, use, yes, because absolutely. that's the way we learn about yes, them. Yes, yes. Psycholinguistics, a psycholinguistic is like a linguistic mm -hmm. between the, the, the psychology, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. cognitive science and language. That so right. language and thought, language mm -hmm. and thinking, yes. uh, that brings you very close to philosophy. Absolutely, yes. So and in philosophy you have uh, the science of let's say uh, predicative logic yes. and all this uh, where, you, where you try to, 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 to find a little bit deeper what the meaning is of what is said, the truth and the not true of expressions. Yes. So when we define things, when we define concepts, you got to go through through all that. So my, I study linguistics. Yeah, it's funny because yeah, what, you, what you just said, you say you started with linguistics. I, I think of Ferdinand de Saussure and this yeah, kind oui. of people, obviously. Yeah. But at the end, you were talking about truth, uh, predicates, etc., which seems to me like like logic, like uh, like like mathematics, like the organon of Aristotle. I mean, the beginning of thinking. Plato. Plato, exactly. Yeah. So it's yeah. thinking. You're, yeah. you're interested in actually how we think. Yeah, you have to, the people like uh, Plato, yes. uh, Wittgenstein. Wittgenstein. Uh, yes. Wittgenstein. Uh, what can uh, we say? Adorno. Adorno, yes. Adorno uh, and, and the modern philosophers, but also big authors like Goethe and yes, Schiller yes, 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 yes. and, and, and uh, yeah, Shakespeare. Or everybody, basically, the, the art is very much about what is the reality in what people say. Yes. Because yes. In, in what people say, you have, let's say, the words itself. Yes, yes. But as you know, between the words, there's a lot of space. And between the lines, there's a lot of space. Yeah, and yeah. in this conference, yes. when you hear the word innovation, oh, and yes. when you hear the word innovation management, I can tell you, there is not one solid standard interpretation of that no, word in this no, conference, no, as, no. as you know. I tried. I tried yesterday because I had four hosts, four guests, sorry, and I tried to have a definition. Obviously, we didn't. We didn't come to one definition of, uh, of innovation. Uh, but it's funny, just just between brackets, yeah, uh, because it's actually interests me a lot. I need to do. finish my, no, my, know, my, my know, introduction. I know. I know. Still. I know. I <laughs> know. We'll be here in, in three, yeah, of course. three hours' time. Yeah, we'll be still. <laughs> but it's interesting <laughs> stuff. No, it's interesting yeah. because what you uh, what you say because you. Uh, you you know, it's very, uh, it's not a French thing, because you, you, you're telling me that uh, thinking about language, it's almost the philosophy of the 20th century, but it's very Anglo-Saxon, it's very um, uh, English-American way of, of seeing philosophy. The French would, would tell you uh, philosophy of language is, is just a little part of philosophy. Or well, I'm I, not I, 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 I don't think so, okay. but it is in the naming. It's so uh, in the, in the Anglo-Saxic in the anglo saxon world, I would say that um, the study of language is very, very focusing on applications. On applications. On application, and in, the more you go to the east, also to the Russian yes. uh, psychology, for instance, the old Russian so it's more to the system. Well, and if you take my career from language yes. through yes. through through philosophy, then you you come close to information science. Mm -hmm. 
And if you do information science, you come close to artificial intelligence. All right. And if you come into artificial intelligence, you come into information systems. Okay. And if you ha want to do information systems, you also have to understand IT. All oh, right. Well, yes. To make that work, you have to understand business processes. So I move from language, linguistic, to information as the oil of business processes. And innovation management is a very uh, knowledge intensive, complex business process. And I would say I was a professor in linguistics, and then I was a, a professor in information science databases I didn't know I knew about databases till somebody said hey you have to come and give a lecture about databases because I was a semantic specialist <laughs> so I didn't know I didn't know in, in, in about IT I so you had to look at I, it I, I, had to, I had to look it up but it's no I'm not a specialist yeah you are right. no I'm not you are <laughs> so so and then I moved slowly but surely you must know you know the internet was still not there all oh, right yes. the internet was not there so we were thinking in, in in structured information so when you want to support a process mm. You have to organize the language of the process. And organizing the language of the process is to support the collaboration between the people. Otherwise, you don't, you don't have clear information. When, when you have a database, when you go deeper in the database, it has to be very clear. Yeah. Because the database is computer is a stupid instrument. <laughs> it can only understand one thing. Yes. So when you say, for instance, let me give you one, one, one small Please. example. The word idea. Idea. The word idea. Which means form in Greek or something like that. Well, whatever it is, the word <laughs> idea. The word concept. Yes. But let me go. The word return on investment. Yes. The word opportunity. Yes. All these, when you work with a company, and, and we work with more than 200 companies, we have to do the definitions. We have Good. to build the lexicon. We have to build the terminology that will be used in their processes, standardize it a little bit, yes. while giving a lot of freedom, but standardize it a little bit, so that the database, in the end, contains data that can be reused. Yes. You cannot automate chaos. If you automate chaos, you have so-called automated chaos. I, I like this expression. This, uh, you, you cannot automate chaos. chaos. You cannot, uh, although in the chaos theory, yes. It is a system. You cannot automate that. Okay. You cannot automate chaos because then, because information systems are too stupid. Mm, I, I see. They are not flexible. In the end, they, they are not flexible. cannot work with chaos. No, no, it's electricity. Yeah? It's yes, not, yes, not yes. flexible. It, it is on or off. So that is, so I was then a professor uh, for, at the European Institute of uh, Public Administration for three and a half years in um, IT politics. IT? IT politics. politics. Well, we studied yeah. this. So you know, in, in Europe, there was a, um, uh, there is the liberalization of the, of the telecom market, yes. for instance, is a, is a political subject. Another one, privacy of data. How, how is it political? So the, 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 so the politics around the liberalization of the telecom market. Oh, yes. The telecom market was first owned by the states. By the states. By the states. Okay, that's very now you want to liberalize that. Yes. So that is a very difficult political thing, how to do that. It's because happening today in Morocco. It's, it's still ha yeah, yeah, it's that happening is a, today a, in Morocco. a very, very <coughs> important political game. Okay. So where you need to find the balance between the interests of the people and the government yes. and, the, and the military and all that, and the private market that at a certain moment owns that infrastructure. All right. Okay. So how do you, what is the political, politi how do you make sure that a country is not 100% dependent on a business that can go bankrupt. Yes. So what many companies do is they create telecom companies. Okay. So you get public-private enterprises, mm -hmm. and th that is an example of IT politics. Another one, which is I think quite important, also in information management, is uh, security of data. Oh, security of data. So, yes. so, so suppose you write an idea in my database. It's one of the many data in my database. Who is allowed to see it? Can it be used against you? So for instance, when we implemented our system uh, last year in Bayer, mm -hmm. in Bayer, uh, the, the, the chemical company. The, the, the uh, great chemical Bayer, company. Bayer, yes. So we, we, we had to go through the Works Council mm -hmm. to really agree the rules of what the company could see of the data of an individual in that company. Okay. So if you write ideas in yes. a system, yes. you know, you could say, I oh, share to Facebook, share, share, share. The company will say, no, no, 
Okay. It's your idea, but I own it. Yes. You cannot share. I so pay you, that. it's also yeah, my so, idea. So, yeah, IP is you, it's your IP, but it's my IP. Ah, That's what yeah. a company says. Ah, yes. and, and correctly so, because yeah. they pay you to create that I, idea. I, I, absolutely. So they will not let you free and say, okay, share everything everywhere. So the sharing is controlled. Okay. So how do you share that? And that is a, 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 a legitimate discussion that you would have also with the works council in the company. So it's information systems have all these aspects. I, I see, I see. It's actually a very, very rich topic. Uh, just be, before we, we come back to, to the content of the topic, you've, you've said a couple of times, we. Uh, we've done this, we've done that. But who is we? Yeah, so in, <laughs> who are in, we? In, 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 in 93, 20 years ago, yes. uh, I was talking about uh, information and the oil for the processes. I always missed the software to do it. I always needed software to improve it. And that was difficult, so uh, I decided to start a software company okay. and consultancy company in one go so that the software would be the transmitter of the good methodologies. So you develop methodologies of processes and we in this software. case we focus on innovation, we focus on innovation processes and we, we create good methodologies for that, put them in the software and we sell our software into companies and by implementing the software in companies we improve their processes. But before we come to that, who is we? What's Sophie. your name? Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the company is called uh, Sofion. Sofion, how do you, how so, do you write Sofion? Sofion, S-O-P-H-E-O-N. Sofion. Sofion. What does it make? What does it mean? Well, I, I give you the name later, but it is a software company. Yes. Let me show this crowd. We have 120 people. Yes. We have over 200 big customers that we serve. I give you some big names, Pepsi-Cola. Pepsi-Cola, yes, big name, indeed. Procter & Gamble. Well. <laughs> Philips. Well. Bayer. That are the biggest. BASF. Wow. And so on. So we have 200 plus You've of, been able of to, 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 to yeah. sell yourself to all these people? We sell the software and the company, <laughs> because the company is 220 people. Yes. So we have a software product, which is like the SAP, of innovation management. Okay. So Forrester and Garner, they say that we are the number one in this area. Yes. And we built that, and because it comes, I think, from the linguistic background. So we yes. have more than 20 people have with a linguistic background in the company. So we and we go in into into with the best best practices. And you have a software. You you, no, you we have the software. You don't, you don't have only. A we story. Have you, we you, have you just come, just tell a yeah. story. Yeah. You actually have a tool, and you go to the company. And what do they want from you? What, what do they what, want? What the company? Yes. Can I first say the, the, the name, and then we stop about the, the, the name. The company you already and then said Sofian. Sofian. Yeah, so, so, what it means? Yes, yeah, Sofian. Yeah, yeah, so Sofia means it, wisdom in Greek. Uh, Sophos. Right? Sophos. Yeah, Sophos. You're right. Sophos in ancient Greek. Ancient Greek. We can still hear it in the word sophisticated. Sophisticated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same word. Yeah, Sophos. Yeah, yeah. Sophos. And Sophos means soul. Skill, All right. knowledge, All right. wisdom. Wisdom, four minutes. Sophocles, yeah, Sophocles. the son of wisdom. Yeah. Okay. Sophocles. Sophos and Eon yeah. means house. House. So house my company is the house of wisdom, basically because we are a knowledge intensive thing. House of wisdom and as a joke, wise house. Wise house, can I, can I, can I, <laughs> Can I tell you something? Probably you don't know, okay, but you, you I, will love I'm it. You will hear, love it. House of wisdom. You have said house of wisdom. It's one of the most important concepts in Arabic Islamic tradition because there was a caliph in the ninth century who started in Baghdad something called the house of wisdom, Beit al Hikmah. And when he decided to translate all the philosophy and uh, science of the Greek in Arabic, in uh, Baghdad. So if you say to Arabs, if you want to sell your things <laughs> to the Saudi, okay, you say Beit al Hikmah. Beit al Hikmah. Beit al Hikmah for House of Wisdom, and they will love it. Okay, okay I give you okay. this idea uh, for free. Uh, uh, Let's go, go. Uh, I'm very grateful. <laughs> I'm very, very, very grateful. Yeah, so what happens in practice is so the companies, I would say, if you look at the market, for innovation management. In the end, you know, we, we focus since a long, since like 12 years 
purely on innovation management. Innovation management. management. That's it. So you cannot manage innovation if you don't have a definition of innovation, innovation work. Innov so uh, innovation work and innovation management, those are concepts that we use. If you don't know about portfolios, if you don't know about business planning, innovation, then you don't know about innovation planning. What is innovation planning? What is the innovation work of the people downstairs that really have to bring the content to the table? How do you structure that? How do you get that? That whole building, mm. uh, uh, that is, I think, companies since, I would say, the 90s, the late 90s, the more advanced companies, they, they started to understand from a managerial perspective, from a managerial perspective, we need to manage what I would call the aorta mm -hmm. of the body. Most important vein. Yeah, of yeah. Our so brain. because if, if you if you if you not not careful with that, you will die. Like the speaker yesterday morning from Swatch said, if you d don't take care of, of what is the essence of your future, of your you, you you will die. You die. So if you only operational, you you will you will die. Mm. And I can tell you in, 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 in many chemical industries, like in OCP, I, I know it. They will confirm it. They spend forty million on research, mm. but it's not research. Only a percent, or two or three percent is really research. All the rest is solving problems in the plants. Okay. So if you okay. now say, what is the innovation really that we're doing? Perhaps it's pro at today, it's problem solving in the plant. Okay. It's not developing new stuff. Okay. I saw in the annual report, and I was very happy to read that, how OCP tries to I would say reinvent the business, mm. which is a slogan from IBM, by the way. Reinvent your business. Your business, yes. All the time. Yes. Reinvent yes. it reinvent your all the time. It's an IBM slogan. Yes. So they, they are reinventing it because they say, you know, which is a normal development in many, 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 many companies. We have a basic technology. We have the infrastructure in place to produce certain materials or what have you. Okay. But then we need to us find new application areas to make sure that we can sell it because the cost, also the cost of that material always goes down. Mm. It always goes down. So, need to, so you need to find application areas and the application are. areas that for, for phosphate is fertilizers. Phosphate goes in many areas. Fertilizers also go in many areas. So I can see OCP moving into agriculture, yes. soil and crops. And I can tell you, as soon as you go in crop science, you end up with medical. All oh, right, this is very interesting. Look at Bayer. So Bayer uh, has materials, yeah. they have crop science, and they have medical. Without having medical knowledge, and now we're going back to innovation, without having the medical knowledge in your projects for the fertilizers, you won't make it to the right soil and the right crops. Now, wait a minute, this is revolutionary. You, it's not revolutionary. No, no, this this is is is, no, no, this Mr. Is Mr. Rutten, you are telling me that OCP should become, sometimes, should become a medical company? Yeah, and I can give you company? An, a medical company. I can give you an example. I can give you an example. Please, yes, do. Yeah, I'll give you an example. You know the company DSM? Dutch, yeah, Dutch, Dutch State Mine. Which is no, not well, a state anymore. Well, it's, it's not a state not anymore. A, it's not mine. Yeah, it's but not a state anymore. They, GSM. Ten, ten years ago, yes. like ten years ago, yes. they were a chemical company. Yes, absolutely. And yes. what are they now? They changed it completely. They sold 70% off to Sabic. To Sabic, the, the Saudis. Yeah. yeah. And they completely went in additives for food. The only thing they sell today is additives for food. They bought Roche, La Roche. La Roche, the Swiss yeah. company. They had uh, Gist Brocades. Yeah. Gist Brocades is a company yeah. that knows how. So they, they went from selling chemicals. They still have a little bit of polymer business. <laughs> basically, a little bit a little of polymer, bit. Po poly, 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 polymer business, I'm sorry. But it's all in food. Well, if you go in food, yes. and crop sciences, it's good food. If you go into food chain, you have to have a different group of people in your labs. You have to have, and that change yes, yes, is yes. a logical, so you can see more companies that made the change from, let's say, mass production, where you are quite vulnerable with more, small margins, into more specialism, yes. where they can create more margin yes. on, on, on their investment. So the, if, that is, if that would be, and I think it is, because I saw some of the OCP initiatives that they have in agriculture in Africa and all that. So when they go, really go in that direction, you will change, you will see 10 years from now. If they want to be successful, a different OCP than today. I want to invite you for a conference at OCP <laughs> to tell this. But it's revolutionary. But you're absolutely right, because 
I happen to live in, in, in Holland, you know. And Dutch state mines used to be mines. It was coal. They, they were actually carbon coal. They were, yes, they and were actually mining gas. coal. Yeah. Then they, they moved to gas, yes. and then they closed the whole thing. And then now they. they no, are, let me tell you so another so one, which is which, which is nice. One of the so, so the yeah. fertilizers, fertilizers, yeah. the, the product fertilizers, is the same output out of the old DSM mm. as it is here from phosphates, phosphate. because. The old DSM created it from gas, urea. Yes, yes, yes. Urea. They created yeah. it from phosphate. From phosphate yes. So the urea plants, yes. DSM owns in license 70% of the urea plants in the world. What? And they are also my customer. Okay, great. So they, they developed their new plant concepts in the structures of my software. So this is urea plants, fertilizer plants, yes. and how you design them, and how you maintain them, and what is the new things in there. So that is uh, what, what's happening. So that will also happen, I think, for, for, for OCP. And now, because this is so interesting, now you understand why I am in this business. I understand why you're in this business. But the, the, what you said about DSM, it's really a clear-cut case of reinvent yourself. Yes. So they have been reinventing themselves. Can you, can you tell me, What's the, 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 the link, really, between the story of DSM, for instance, because it's a fascinating story, and what you told me about OCP, it's also fascinating if OCP is going to have the same transformation, uh, transformation as this is absolutely mind-boggling. It's very interesting. What is the, the role of innovation in that story? Where, where, where innovation happened in DSM? At which moment, can you tell innovation was, at that moment, very fundamental for DSM? I, 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 I think... As a linguist, yes. I think it's the wrong question. Okay, so it, it, I stand corrected. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can. Did you ever see innovation? Uh, not lately. Can you take it? <laughs> no, I can. You cannot. No, can you, you cannot. eat it? You, you, you no, cannot. You cannot. So if you say, ask me a question like that, I would say, okay, can you define it for me? And you cannot. I asked you yeah, to did, define it yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you d define an idea. Yes. You know, yes. idea. Go yes. to Plato, and Plato wrote his whole life about ideas. About ideas. Absolutely. The point. What you can ask me is the question: What does this have to do with idea management? With uh, innovation management. With innovation I'm sorry. management. Innovation management. Okay. Yeah. How, exactly. So let me ask you the question. Yes, sir, please. The whole story of DSM. Yes. And which for you could be a template for OCP yeah. in the future. Tell us, uh, innovation management, which role did it play in that well, transformation? Well, first of all, innovation management is a combination of components okay. that work together and that, uh, how do you say that, enforce each other. Enforce each other. And it goes and so. So you have bottom-up thinking. All right. You have thinking from outside okay. coming in. But, and and in, a, in a certain way, it has to go into a vision. Well, first of all, vision. if you don't have a vision for innovation, your enterprise, if you don't have that, your R&D won't have direction. Okay, vision. It will go ad hoc. Okay. It will go continuous to do what we did last year, and we change one FTE from this place to another, but that's it's it. Solving little problems. So they are, and they can keep doing their, their thing in the labs and their thing for IP and all that. And if you analyze the IP of companies, you can see those, the, the, those trends. Let me go to the vision thing first. The vision. The world has big themes, and enterprises at a higher level communicate about these themes and try to make an interpretation what is it, does it mean for us with the DNA that we have. Okay. Can we survive in this, let's say, coming world with the DNA that we have? And in nature, exactly the same. All the animals, all the microbes, all the plants go, in fact, through the same process. The world is changing around them, their topos are changing, and they have to ask themselves, how should we change, adapt to these new things? So first of all is, how do we adapt to the big themes? Well, the big themes are hunger, are water, are emerging, emerging, emerging country. Another big theme is old materials, okay. you can get them for nothing. Korea will, will, will produce steel with no margin. Saudi Arabia can do the chemicals because they have the energy for nothing. Well, what happens now? In America, you know, they will be the number one energy supplier for themselves in the near future because of shale Big gas. Surprise. Shale gas. It's, Big it's, surprise. It, it is not a surprise for the people that saw it. Okay. Because already, I think three years ago, 
Now there's a lot of information about shale gas and yes, shale, and, and it will change the whole world. It will change the, the geopolitical, but already now, yes. plants from Europe, now, as we speak, are closed and reopened in the States. In the States, yes. So they, they, do, they, didn't, they didn't think about that yesterday. They thought about that already two years ago. All right, okay, yes. These are military operations. Yeah. So vision means that you continuously, at the top level, and with other people around it, universities... It has to be at the top level. It has to be at the top level. If you don't have the top level, you don't have navigation. Forget it. If you have a car without navigation, okay, yeah. if I would drive here in Morocco, I would get lost very quickly. <laughs> so, so you need your navigation to, to go somewhere. The same is true, it's like a ship. You, yes. you don't, you, you look at, big companies are like, like mammoths, you right? Okay, yes. you, change, you change them not like in, in one day. So no. it takes a couple of years. Like that. To bring them into the direction where you want, to change all the components that contribute to that and can contribute. So some of them you sell off. Okay. Some of them they die and some new ones come in. So I would not be surprised if the phosphate experts would be replaced here and there a little bit with medical experts. Could be. <laughs> well, Mr. Could be. Rotten. Could, 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 could be. Isn't that fascinating? So the vision is first. The vision is really first. And without the vision, the people down there, they're just spontaneous, ad hoc, and historical conservative in general. It will, will stay conservative. So what we do as a, as a company with our software is also supporting that, let's say, planning process. And the, the software challenges the planners, okay. the top, okay. to think. Okay. The software asks difficult questions. Okay. It's not easy. No. So it will ask you a question at that level. It also asks the question at a deeper level. So oh. you are a researcher, or you are a marketeer, or you are a salesperson, and you, you see that something is possible, and here the word opportunity comes in. So there is, we could do this, we could do that. And if they know the, the, the vision out there, and it is, they know it's supported, they will have ideas immediately. One, one last question, because uh, we have to wrap it up. One last question. So I am the big boss. By the way, I am I talking the way you want me to talk or not? <laughs> Just tell me, yeah? Stop me, yeah? <laughs> That's wonderful, nice, no, really good. But suppose I'm the big boss, I have a vision, and I turn to you and you tell me, you have the software, but your software, my vision, is it always to implement my vision, or can you actually contradict my vision? Can you tell me no? No, no, the vision, look, the vision is your vision. Okay. The software gives you the methodology, the methodology. to identify it, to, to, to challenge it, to, um, uh, to control it yeah. and to implement it. Oh, so right. also to implement it. So the software is helping you to implement it. Down there, if you gave the, the, top, to, the top processes, it's like say, the continuous development of your business. Okay. Rethink your business annually, five year planning, and so on. But rethink, it start with the vision, rethink the plans, and the plans down there in initiatives. All right. So okay. you have, we will help you to write your innovation agenda. Okay. A part of that agenda is research. Another part of that could be we will market our product in a different way. We have to reinvent our marketing. We have to reinvent our production, the way we produce, or the way we transport. All so right. one example is the slurry pipe for OCP. Yes. It's an invention to do that, right? Yes. It was not there, and now it no. will be there. Somebody thought about that. Absolutely. And that is a collaborative thinking. We need an infrastructure. What can we do? And it's a pipe, or do we do a train, or do we something else? Or do we make a canal? No, it's a pipe. It's a pipe. Yes, I understand. Yes, it's, it's, it's a pipe. So this, there is this innovation agenda, and only a small part of the innovation money of a company mostly goes in research. That's true. In research and development. So what you want as a company is that these functions work together yes. and are, create synergy between the investments that we do to get to our vision as soon as we can. And Sofion can do that. Yeah, we help with the methodologies to do that, right. Thank you very much.